Good morning, everybody. Uh, back at uh, we're back on the case actually, and there's been a breakthrough. Uh, the case of the missing step stool. There's been a a breakthrough, so I'll let you guys know in a bit. There's been a crack in the case. Uh, the homie uh, William is gonna have it with me, with him on Thursday. Hopefully, he comes out on Thursday. If not, uh, I'll see him next week. So, until then, I'll keep you guys posted. But welcome to the channel. Let's see what we find. This is nice. How much, sir? 100 bucks. 100 bucks? 100 bucks. We don't even know who it is, but it's 100 bucks. 100 bucks. I can't afford that, but it's a nice one. ¿Cuánto es eso? Ese 10 dólares. 10 dólares? Ajá. ¿Y ese? 8. Le doy 15 por los dos. Está bien, yo te. Está bien. jumped on the offer really quick i'm pretty sure she's been dragging them along but people haven't the star wars is not as popular as it was back in the day but it, it is it still is and i sell it all the time um like i said hopefully this is complete i don't want to crack it open because it's sealed it has a tape still but there's a crack in the plastic here so that's why the figures or whatever is in there they're falling out but I like it because it has it's the Hoth set and that's what it looks like this is just a, a coloring um, includes two cans of air and Harding cam compound four markers it's not it's not complete obviously but it's a mold and the reason I got it was mainly for this box here. It says Slave One. Uh, ever since Disney took over, they canceled that word Slave One on anything that has to do with Star Wars. So you're not gonna hear the word Slave One uh, on any packaging or on any shows or any movie anymore. So you're not gonna hear that anymore. And this is a box that actually has the word Slave One and then it says uh, Stormtrooper, Princess Leia, and Boba Fett. Uh, mold figures inside the slave one so there it is slave one that's cancelled guys so look out for that is that ghostbusters uh, you know what? yeah it's missing something Hurricane. yeah Dope. All right, so I picked up some stuff from uh, my good friend uh, Jade, Jade and Angel, but Angel's not here. They are Randall's Vintage. I love those guys. Uh, super cool. She's out here by herself, but she's a hustler, so she's uh, selling a lot of dope stuff. I got this hand puppet and some uh, plush here. This guy here, it's from um, <clears throat> 1979. The heart, yeah, it's the heart laboratory. So I think it's that, that the heart candy, if I'm not mistaken. And this one is from the Ghostbusters. I think. It's all guesses, I'm not sure. And of course, VHS. Why do I buy VHS? I have no idea, but I'm still buying them. Betty Boop, jewelry, and Tasmanian Devil towel, beach towel. I'm pretty sure it's from the 90s somewhere. Here are those. And Dracula. And this guy, Pioneer Chicken. I'm going to, uh, I'm trying to make a puppet out of this, so I need a reference. I had one, got rid of it, but I got it back. Cool, I'll see you guys in a bit. I found these here. I don't know what they are, they're like clip, clip and save. 
special collector's card. It was 15, I'm gonna take them. Yeah, no sir. All right, I, I'm broke now, but I'm gonna take a I'm gonna take another straw. I bought this bag here. This is a uh, aerospace international association of Mach machinist and aerospace workers leather straps heavy canvas made in the usa i like it let's say what's up to my friend frankie and then of course you saw the t2 guys here what's up frankie hey how you doing then i got these guys here chilling Terminator 2, Exoskeleton, and T-1000 Morphine Liquid. These are actually from 93 maybe? 95. KB Toy Store. What's up, brother? How you been? You chilling? What's just going on? He's right here. So I was talking to uh, my friend Frank Frankie and uh, his wife over there. They sell the, they do the pallets. Actually, their videos are pretty dope. If you watch them, they're really informative. If you're looking to get into pallet flipping, they do a Target pallet flipping, and they buy like tons of pallets, and they break them down, and in this video, they break it down too. So if you're interested, they're, like I said, super informative. He knows what he's doing. Follow him. But other than that, I, I think I'm done. It's going to be, like a, again, a short video. Uh, we came to... wanted to give you an update on my stool. I should get it sometime this week, hopefully. I think I can get it this week. If not, I'll wait for next week. But the homie already already sent me a message. He told me that he, uh, he has it safe. It's safe and secure. So we'll come back and get that. All right, so... I'm gonna say bye to my friends over here. Sorry guys, another short video. I might combine this one. We'll see. Let's do that. Let's combine. So I'm gonna cut here and then uh, part two. All in one. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat. Back at the office. Back at the office, uh, part two, you get a two-piece combo today. Let's see what we find. It's two days later, by the way. Hola, como esta? Hola, hola. Si, que tienen, le ponen un spam con arroz y el chili. Sushi? No, 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 no es sushi, es este... These are all old, rare. Creepy looking. Okay, right off the bat, let me show you what I got. I paid up, but I can get 20 for just the rabbit here. So I got this one. It's working. Oh. Looks like it's made in the USA. Maybe. I don't know. Who knows? I gotta look into it. But then I got these uh, other scary looking ones. Like this creepy hand. I got this creepy witch. Uh, I got Topollillo. South Park. And um, I think this is, I don't know their names. Carmen. I don't know who knows. That one. And then I got Dracula. Roger Rabbit. 
the Invisible Man. Uh, I got this King Kong with the tag. Let's see if it works. This is supposed to shoot flame out. It does shoot. And then I got two Roger Rabbits. And then I got this guy from Hanna Barbera. I forgot his name right off the top. But there, there, that's it. I paid 20 bucks. I'm going to ask 20 bucks for the rabbit, and then the rest is going to be all profit. This guy, the creepy one. All right, that's it. Well, that's not it, but. And then also, too, I want to thank you guys. I want to thank you guys for commenting that you guys want more longer videos. I really appreciate it. I'm trying to, like I said, I don't want to bore you, but you guys said that you guys are entertained. And then also, uh, don't fast forward certain things. So. I listen to all the comments and I enjoy all the feedback. Hola, señor, ¿cómo está? Got some cameras here and they're all old and not worth it. Haters. They just paid me. ¿Cuánto están estos? ¿A dólar? A dólar. A dólar. I might take this just for a little bit. So far we have three items here. Super 8 camera. Oh, actually has a film still. Poker chips, Walkman. Vintage phone. Calculator. Yeah, I, I don't like how... I don't know if you can see, but... I don't like that. Man. Headphones, clean them up. Hopefully they work. Pagers, I'm, I'm sure they work, but what's the point? It's more just of like a collector's item. And then I got this game pad, 50 games on it. I mean, that was a dollar. I don't get a lot of comments, but when I do, I, uh, I tend to answer all of them. And I really appreciate everybody <coughs> even taking the time to uh, watch the videos, you know, let alone comment, so. I appreciate it but I do try to answer all of them somebody left a comment about the word sweater and sweatshirt and he asked uh, I'm assuming it's a he why do I why do I in art a resale say sweater instead of sweatshirt I've never said the word sweatshirt in my life so to me it's all sweaters matter of fact I say crew necks but if I'm being corrected I'm still gonna say sweater I enjoy all the feedback and somebody told me not to speed up my videos and I I won't do that. Hello. Hi. Is this a price on it? 40? No, other side. Oh, okay, 35. Yeah, and everything's negotiable. Thank you. They have the prices, and then they also have a. Let me show you. soundtrack for the movie it's a little bit damaged it's 35 bucks but uh, no 
knows if it's going for that much, but thank you guys. They have the they have their price, but they also have the eBay and the Etsy price, which I think is silly, but whatever. Why are you selling it here if it's not selling on there? And it's for the, almost the same price. I think the most I would pay for that, that CD set would be like five to ten bucks, if that. That's what I'm being generous. Are these the prices on there? This is what your guys are asking? Yeah. Oh, okay. So, Robbie, did you look that up? People are getting silly with their prices here. Yes, sir. Talk to me. What's the price on the posters over here? Which posters? The ones in the front. They're, they all got prices there. You you selling that for a hundred bucks? Hell no. That's a print. Yeah. The one, these two right here. Fifty bucks for both. Oh yeah, you just sit on uh, 1992. This one's nice. I think it's signed by the artist, maybe. Yeah. Everything is signed. Check it out. There's another one that's worth a lot of money, but it's like three hundred bucks. I don't yeah. know where I left it. Where my guy left it. Fabian, mama. Cool. Yeah, it's signed by the artist and it's numbered too. That's yeah. not bad. What is this number? So what? Uh, 105 of 400. So there's 400 prints of that right there. 1992, not bad. 50 bucks for both of them? Is it too expensive? Uh, no. That's reasonable. It's too much for me, but... Oh. You, I think you Talk get to it. me, buddy! I, I think you get it. There you go. I'll see you later, bro. I think he could get that. 150 is crazy. The print. See how much these are. They're tagged. Blanks. 90s, I believe. She wants 20 bucks for these. 10 bucks. And 10 bucks. Toads on the nose. It's a nice shirt, but not for 10 bucks. Vintage jerseys here. What the tag? It's a Russell company, so these are Russell. By the way, I got an update on my uh, step stool. The case has been cracked. Um, I have a, I don't know if I mentioned it in my last video, but the case has been cracked and I am going to meet up with my friend he has it it's one of the homies I sold with last week he has it and he might be here today but if not he'll have it here next week for sure so until I see it I'll stop crying but it's it's I think it's safe so I bought this big box of Playboy for 50 bucks he wanted two bucks each He's got like 300 more and they're all from the 60s, early 70s. So who knows what's in them. But you guys see in my last video, if you guys watched it, I sold each one for 10 bucks and they were in bad condition. These are in great condition, by the way. I don't know if I want the other 300 because he's going to want about three, 400 bucks for all of them. I'm going to turn the camera off here. But just to get an idea. Vintage Playboy. I'm huffing and puffing here because I just bought this heavy ass box. Let's put it away. I still only do 15 bucks. So I would say there's about 5, 10, maybe like 
40. 40 of them. I mean, there's one, two, three, four, four, five here in this little stack. Sorry. And it goes all the way down. Like, I think there's probably like 40, 40 magazines. I paid 50. A little bit over a dollar each. I can sell each one for 10 bucks, and I think I'm good. But let's go find this dude $15 and then go drop it off. All right, so we got uh, $20 from the homie, Sergio. The homie Sergio always comes through. Um, I'm pretty sure he's gonna get tired of it eventually, but he hasn't yet. Let's give this dude his $15, then we have $5 credit. But I'm getting charged interest, so he wants a Coke. So uh, after all that, it's three bucks. Okay. So technically, I paid $52 for this box. I think I can make my money back. 10 bucks each, there's 40 of them. Like a thousand bucks. 2,000 bucks. I don't know, I'm not good at math. You guys figure it out for me. Okay, so I gave him his $15, and now I owe Sergio a soda, which is probably like two bucks. And we got $3 credit. I think that's a wrap for us. So I paid $1.75 for this can of soda. And now we got $3.25 left credit. Let's buy something. I don't even want to finish the whole thing because I don't have no more money. And I don't want to get tempted. Ask for more money. Last minute pickup. I had $3.25 left. So, all right, sir. See you. Found this. Like a Mickey shoes. And a Bullwinkle. Vintage. 1985. So that's it, our finds for the day. Uh, thank you for joining me. I'll see you guys on the next one and um, have a good night. Sit, Ubu, sit. Good dog.